Have you ever created a lot of related, very similar kinds of files and then wanted to be able to combine them in a way that someone else can come in and find each one of those files easily? Well, you can do that with Excel and links and hyperlinks. And even though Excel doesn't call them bookmarks, bookmarks. Hi, I'm Terry, one of the Consumer Technology Specialists for Mid-Continent Public Library. And today we are going to look at Excel and links and bookmarks. In my first example spreadsheet here, I can see this is about Mid-Continent Public Library. And then in A3, it even says, be sure to visit our website at. And this would be a perfect opportunity to share with people the URL, the address of that website. So I could click in D3 and simply type www.mymcpl.org and press enter. And notice how it immediately turns blue with an underline. And when I hover my mouse over that link, you can see that my mouse pointer becomes a hand with a pointy finger, and it even just says click and hold to select this cell. So we'll click on it. And it takes me immediately to the home page of mymcpl.org. So let's say that I want to be more subtle in how I approach my direction to the home page of Mid-Continent Public Library. Well, clicking in A1, I can go up just to the right of the Home tab and click on Insert. And as I follow that Insert tab over to the right, I can find the Links group only really has one button, which is Link. When I click on the drop-down for the link button, I can see that it's going to direct me to recent items that I have created, and not even just in Excel, but also in Word. But as I come down then, I also have this option to insert a link. So I'll click on that. And it brings up the Insert Hyperlink dialog box. And when we look at this, it's very similar to what you see in Word, if you've seen it there. But what do we want to link to? Well, we could link to several different things, but for our first choice here, we're going to link to an existing file or web page in our case. We could link to a place in this document, which could be called a bookmark. We could create a new document, or we could link to an email address. Now, for, in Excel, I would think that for the most part, we're going to link to an existing file or web page or a place in this document. So we'll spend time on just those two. To the right of where it says link to, we're going to always get a sample of what we have typed and selected that this is the text to display that the link is kind of hiding underneath. And in this case, that's Mid-Continent Public Library. And then if I were to link to a document, it would be here, look in. And I have several ways to look at this. First of all, it's going to default to documents. So that is something that I would want to look at. But I also have these options going down in the dialog box. So I could look in a current folder, browsed pages, or recent files, which is an option that we've already seen earlier. But in this case, because I only want to just link to a URL, I'm going to come down to address and type the address. www.mymcpl.org and I'm going to click on OK. The text, Mid-Continent Public Library, is now blue with an underline. And when I rest my mouse on top of it, I get that pointy finger mouse pointer. I'm going to click on that, and it takes me to Mid-Continent Public Library home page. 
Now we have some new text in A5. Here's an instructional document. And let's say that we would like to link to a document that's on my computer. In fact, it's on my desktop. So when I click in A5, notice that I really don't need to select all of the text, but I simply click here in A5 to create the link. And then I'm already on the Insert tab above the ribbon, so I'm just going to come over to the right to Link and click the drop-down. And this time I'm going to go to Insert Link. And our text to display is, here's an instructional document. It's picked up everything just by clicking in A5. And it says, let's look in Documents, but today I need to change that to my desktop. And it will show then that look in becomes the current folder. And I'm going to scroll down to example linked document. And it's a Word document, but that's OK. It gives me the address of where that is. And then I'm going to click OK. And it creates that link, that hyperlink. And then all I need to do is rest my mouse on top of it, unlike Word, where I need to control click. In Excel, I simply hover my mouse over that cell and click. And because I am on a network and I'm at work, then I'm getting this security notice. You may or may not receive this notice at home, but let's click on Yes. I want to continue, and it opens up that Word document. Now that is really slick and so easy to do. Let's look at one more example in creating a link in Excel or actually hyperlink in Excel. And in A7 it even says one more example. Now what I can do in A7 is I can right click and it brings up a shortcut menu and at the very bottom then I get the option to link. When I click on that, it takes me to the Insert Hyperlink dialog box, where then I could insert a hyperlink. But let me also show you this. I'm still clicked in A7. When I use Control-K, it takes me directly to that dialog box. So it kind of skips a step, and it's just a really nice keyboard shortcut for us to use. So from here, though, it's an existing file or web page. The text to display is one more example. I'm going to shift from Documents to Desktop yet again. And then when that opens, I'm going to come down to Example Linked Document one more time and click OK. Now I have that link. I can click on it directly. Again, I get that security notice, but then I'm going to click Yes. And here is that document again. So right click or Control K may actually be a little easier to use than the ribbon when you use Excel. Once in a while, you may be so concentrated on finding the path to a file or the URL of a web page that you don't put any text in before you create the link. And that's actually not a problem. But let's see how that would work. First of all, let's go to Control K. And I have clicked in A9, so Control K. And it opens up my Insert Hyperlink dialog box. And the first thing I'm going to do is say, ooh, the address. Well, hmm, let me go to my web page here. And in fact, I've gone to YouTube and the MCPLMO channel, which is Big Continent Public Library's channel. And I know that we have a Microsoft Excel Basics playlist, and I would like to put in the URL and link to this playlist. Well, below the thumbnail here, it says View Full Playlist, so I can click on that. And then at the top of this playlist, which, by the way, has 39 videos just now, so even more as we go on, if I go to that address bar, 
I can see, well, it starts with YouTube.com and then just a whole lot of what looks like random letters. I can click to the right of that, and then I'm going to use Control-C to copy. And then I'm going to go back to my Excel sheet. And where it says Address, I'm going to use Control-V to paste that in. Now, the only thing is, when I look at the text to display, it puts in that address in the text to display. So what I'm going to do is simply click and drag over all of that. And then I'm going to type Excel Basics Playlist. So now my text to display is Excel Basics Playlist, and the address is down below. We'll click OK. Look at that in A9, Excel Basics Playlist. When I take my pointy finger and click on that hyperlink, it takes me to YouTube and that playlist. While there are a lot of different ways to find the worksheets that are in a workbook, if you have a lot of worksheets, let's say 50 or 75, even a right click on the navigation arrows down here at the bottom left could just get kind of cumbersome to look through. So what you can do is add a new worksheet at the beginning and name it Table of Contents. And then with your use of what are really bookmarks, you can link to each one of your sheets and give people a very easy way to navigate through your workbook. So let's say that we want people to be able to go to this ABC company. And I'm just going to, first of all, click on it. And then I think I'm going to use my control K to very quickly bring up the insert hyperlink dialog box. And on the left, what we really need to remember is this. Remember that link to? This time we want to link to a place in this document. So we will click on that. And when we do, we have some new things to look at and consider. So first of all, it says, well, you have clicked on ABC Company. That's the text that is going to display. And we think, yep, yeah, that's correct. Now, generally, when you move to another worksheet, the default is to go to the beginning. So we just want to be sure that it'll go to the beginning of the, the spreadsheet that is there. Or we could even select a place in this document. Now, the first thing that we want to look at here is the sheet names that are all listed in order for us. And remember, we want to go to ABC Company. We also have defined names that we'll discuss in just a little bit, but those are other places that we could go to within our workbook. But for us right now, what we are going to do is simply say, oh, well, I want to go to ABC Company, which matches my text to display. And then on the lower right, we'll click OK. Now, ABC Company turns blue. It has an underline. When I put my mouse on top of it, I get the pointy finger. And when I click, look at that, ABC Company. When I come down to the Sheet tab, you can see that it is, in fact, the ABC Company Sheet tab. Now, isn't that just a really nice thing that you can do for people who are looking at your really large workbook with many, many, many sheets? I've moved back to our original practice worksheet and added to it an A11 ABC Company Profit. And this is just a really nice opportunity for you to take one cell in a worksheet and link it to another cell in another worksheet using named ranges. And while we haven't had a video on that, that is certainly something to watch for in the future. But let me show you that in ABC Company Worksheet tab, when I click on D15, instead of showing D15 in the name box in the upper left, look what it says, Profit. I've been able to give that cell a name. 
And in this case, profit is simply the total income minus the total expenses. And it becomes then very easy to do math, or another way to do math, where instead of using cell references, I actually use range names. So in this case, total income minus total expenses. Pretty cool, huh? This cell is profit. I can go to practice. I can click on A11, and I'm just going to use Control K here. And I'm going to, on the left, make sure that I have linked to a place in this document. The text to display is ABC Company Profit, but now under Defined Names, we have Profit. I can click on that, click OK, and when I hover my mouse over ABC Company Profit and click, look at that. It takes me back to D15 on the ABC Company worksheet. Using links and bookmarks in Excel is a wonderful tool. A lot of people use these links. So Excel can be just absolutely the answer to what you need to use. However, there are two considerations that you want to think about. First of all, does the person who has your spreadsheet and they click on a link, do they have permission to open where you have linked to? And that's something to consider. The other item that you might want to think about is, are the original workbook and the items that it is linking to, and again, it could be Word documents, another Excel workbook, PDFs, are they in the same folder? When you work, especially in a network, be careful to, as much as possible, keep your workbook with the links and the documents that it is linking to all within the same folder, and you will really have a great experience with Excel and links and bookmarks. To learn even more, be sure to go to mymcpl.org forward slash online learning for such great resources as Universal Class, Learning Express Library, LinkedIn Learning, and Udemy Business. We also premiere videos every Wednesday and Friday at 1 o'clock. If you miss a video premiere, you'll still be able to find it later when it's convenient for you. You can find us on Facebook at MCPL360, and you can find us on YouTube by going to our MCPLMO channel.